Hello guys and welcome back to Brace Gaming today. In this video today we're taking a look at all of today's leaks for S6H and S6K. All of the super rares, ultra rares, hyper rares, special arts, they're all here, they've all been leaked um, and our friends at Poke Garden have collated all the images so we're going to go through them all, decide which ones we want and yeah, let's take a little sneak peek at the upcoming set. So yes guys we are back today, we are back looking at the new super rare cards, the super rares, the hyper rares, the ultra rare cards just revealed from S6H, Silver Lance and S6K, Jet Black Poltergeist. They always have the best names in Japan, Jet Black Poltergeist, it's really cool, I like that name, it's a good name. Um, so these are actually going to make up the bulk of uh, Chilling Rain I believe in English when that eventually comes out. I know, I know, well, Japan gets all the best stuff first, they really do, they really, really do. This is why you should start taking notice of Japanese Pokemon cards now, yeah, because they're good. Excellent. Um, what I did last time was uh, I, I, I went on to Poke Guardian. I recorded my bit and then I kind of edited the images in and I thought, hold on a minute Brace, you're just taking up too much of your own time. I have a baby now, which um, in case you guys didn't know, um, Became a father for the first time uh, two weeks ago. His name is uh, Theo, Theo Brochure. And um, yeah, he's, he's doing very well. But yes, time, time his, his um, free time has gone down somewhat, which means we're gonna streamline the process, but I don't mind streamlining this process because good friend of Poke Guardian, uh, sorry, I am a good friend of Poke Guardian, uh, uh, the man behind the, uh, behind the mask, uh, as it were, He's a, he's a great guy, one of my personal uh, friends in the in the Pokemon industry, I suppose. Can you call it a Pokemon industry? I don't know, I suppose so. It kind of is. The kind of kind of community. He's one of my best friends in the Pokemon community. And yes, um, I'm going to be promoting his website here, which is Poke Guardian. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this have heard of Poke Guardian before. Fantastic website, fantastic news source. He's doing so well. He's doing so well. Um, first thing I want to point out though is if you look at the Poker Guardian banner up here, uh, these are kind of um, all kind of, uh, I would say, influences that have kind of, in one way or another, popped up on um, Poker Guardian's Pokemon journey. And <laughs> as you can see, uh, hanging here is an electrode. And there's a good reason that electrode is there, and I believe that is my, my fault that it's there. Um, technically, it's electrode's fault it's there. Um, Guys, if you remember, if you if you are a long time watch <laughs> watch of Brace Gaming, you'll remember that we got Electrode in uh, was it S six S M six B I believe, was it uh, Champion Road in Japan? This was like two years ago, maybe even three years ago. Three years ago, I think it was, and uh, I was so smug because I managed to get my my booster box on release day in England, and I was like, look, I've got the only one in the UK, ha! Huh? And then I got the Electrode. So I was very disappointed by that, and um, it kind of served me right. And since then, the electro beams have just been flowing so hard, and everyone has just kind of, um, you know, sort of uh, been taking the make out of me a little bit for that. But ultimately, we um, we come back around to today, where I open up my phone, and we have about 20 notifications, where I have actually uh, tagged in a lot of different things and you'll see that very shortly you're gonna see why so we're gonna get onto that in 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 a minute but yeah <laughs> you can kind of guess a lot of you would have seen it already but look we have the uh, s6h and s6k um, super rares ultra rares special arts we're gonna go through them one by one fully appreciate you could do this yourselves but th this is my my view on these cards as we look at them and at the end, you know, we'll kind of decide which ones we want the most from each set. It's a, it's a two two sets this time, um, a double set release, which means we got twice the amount of super rares and things like that to look at. So very exciting, very exciting to get twice the amount as normal. So let's have a little look. We start with this Ichigeki Volcanion. Very interesting. Um, uh, SK uh, Yoshinob has done the artwork. I'm very happy to see it's not CGI works or Planeta. It has a little bit more to it. Um, in my opinion, but still, you know, the full arts, uh, I feel like they could be doing better with them. Um, I do prefer the backgrounds now, 
because obviously there's a bit more to the background. Some of them do, do actually look quite nice. Um, we'll get onto some of them uh, today. Um, but yeah, the, the uh, Volcanion V here, probably not one I, I would want personally, but you know, some people might like that. Some people might like that. And we're doing this in set order, which means um, it's not going to be super rares, then the special arts, and then hyper rares or something. So, for instance, we have the, the Calyrex Ice Rider here. The next, the next card is the special art for this card. Okay, makes sense. Excellent. So we have the uh, the uh, Calyrex. Calyrex. This has been done by Five Ban. Um, I don't think it's too bad to be honest. I think the sort of shattered um, ice effect at the back is really nice, and you've kind of got the uh, this little checkered effect here on the right hand side. It looks a little bit like um, Trick Room is for some reason. Uh, is taking effect there, which might be might be quite a slow Pokemon, I believe. So it could be laying down that trick room for an attack. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, we 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 got the Calyrex there, um, super rare. It's not bad. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. But we have the special art, of course, and this is by Okacheke. Okacheke, this has has got his first ever commission in this set. Which was a different card uh, in the in the regular set, but he's also got himself a special art card, which is fantastic. I believe Okacheke was um, a runner-up actually as part of the illustration contest recently, where we had the illustration promo Charizard. Um, not the winner, um, Okacheke, but obviously impressive enough to um, you know get himself a hopefully a regular spot because this here, this here with the with the spheels and the litlios and the dealings is fantastic. It's a really nice artwork. I really love this card. Um, again, you know, it, we haven't had a special art yet. That hasn't been good. So very nice to see that card there. Really beautiful special art. And of course, Galarian Rapidash. So we can't actually see the artist in this one, which is a shame because I do like to kind of analyze who the artist is and, and what they've done in the past and kind of just take my view on it from that. But yeah, what can we say about this card then? It's, it's a nice card. I think uh, the Galarian Ponytail line is a very popular line. It's, it's an interesting card. I think a lot of people are going to like it. It has a special art. Of course it does. It has Horn of the Unicorn. Um, <laughs> a little Yu-Gi-Oh reference for you there. So uh, yeah, this is, this is done by Sui. S-U-I. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, what is Galarian Rapidash up to here? Is it kind of reviving the the flowers, perhaps? Um, it's very it's very difficult to um to tell. It's it's a really nice card. The flowers around it. it just look, look at the colours in this. The way the sort of pastel colours kind of reflect that of the Galarian Rapidash is just fantastic. It, I bet this is going to be one that looks incredible in the flesh, definitely for sure. So we have one we don't want. <laughs> there are a few cards we don't want in this set. This is definitely one of them. This is uh, Sandaconda V. No, Planet has done it. Um, it's a Sandaconda. It's not very interesting. I swear we've had a Sandaconda V as well, I think. Um, it's got an interestingly boring background. It's an interestingly boring card. Oh, we also have a Lipard, one we don't want. And it's... It, look, look. Just... Uh, Ayakashi yeah, has done this. Um, I, I have no opinion on, on the way the Pokemon is kind of standing in this one. It's a very basic form, as a lot of the full arts are. Um, the background is more interesting. It kind of seems to have some sort of lightning slash fiery effect around the feet there. Um, so I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's interesting. Uh, you can tell when I don't like a card because I just tell you it's interesting. <laughs> this one's very interesting. <laughs> We have an Ichigeki Tornadus uh, V. Um, so as I said before, guys, there's a lot of cards you don't want in this set. Um, from a personal level, anyway. Because uh, that's why that's why you're watching this. From my personal view on it, and this is my personal view on it, I don't really want this card. And this is one I don't want. Tornadus V, interesting. It's in the sense of it's a Tornadus crossing his arms, and it's a Pokemon. That it is, it's a hideously looking Pokemon, and it has a very basic kind of flame background. Next. Tornadus V Special Art. Yes, so this one is actually really nice. See what you can do with a Tornadus if you just give it a little bit of a uh, creative freedom, if you were, in, in the card. 
This is a brilliant card. It has so many Easter eggs in it. You have the, the score bunny there, obviously. Um, so what's actually happening in this card? It looks like Tornadus uh, in his cloud is causing a huge gust of wind and um, Rockruff, Quillfish. Is that a Shuppet at the back as well? A Shuppet. It's kind of getting tossed around. Um, who's done this one? This is uh, oh, Tetsuya uh, uh, Koizumi, another new artist, getting a, a, another special art. Fantastic to see uh, these new artists. And yeah, it's a really nice card, isn't it? Special arts again, knocking it out the park. Flannery. Now, I'm a really big fan of Ryota Fuse, who does a lot of the um, sort of full art cards at the minute. A uh, lot, lot of artwork. Um, it looks very kind of sort of dynamic in a way. Um, not the sort of star that uh, Anaseki dynamic does it, but very nice nonetheless. And this Ichigeki Flannery, you can just see the way she's clutching that Pokeball and you've got the flames coming off, kind of matching the hairstyle. It's, it's a beautiful card. I think it's going to be one that's going to look really nice in the flesh and it's going to be one that's going to be kind of not so nice in Hyper Rare, I'm afraid. I'm saying it again, you know, the Hyper Rare versions of these trainer cards are not, are not great. Not great. We also have Doctor. Uh, another uh, full art supporter. There's so many full art supporters. I think over the course of um, both sets, I think there could be eight. I think there could be eight. With the hyper rare, that makes 16, doesn't it? That's quite a lot. But Doctor looks quite happy with herself. She just solved COVID, probably. Let's hope so. So we have, is it Peony? Hitoshi Ariga's Peony. Fantastic. Really like this card. It's, it's quite a dynamic image again. He's giving it the big... The big fist there. You're very happy. He's, um, yeah, it's, it's a really cool card. It really sort of captures his personality a bit. If you guys have played the uh, Isle of Armor uh, expansion and the second one, I can't remember what it is. But yeah, really nice card. His daughter's in this somewhere. We also have Melanie. Melanie is one of the gym leaders in um, in uh, Sword and Shield. Actually, I don't know if she's in. She's in one of them and not the other, is she? She's one of those. Um, uh, Tyra um, Ak Akitsu's on this one. I'm not too familiar with their work. I wonder if again they're possibly another new artist. It looks really cool. Obviously, I think it's a great card, especially with kind of like the the background on this one. You have, kind of have like the uh, the midnight sky, maybe you know like the northern lights type of thing. Some stars going on. I think it's pretty cool. I do like this card a lot. It'd be a nice one to get. So. Um, Back onto the Hyper Rares now, just going through the VMAX Hyper Rares, and this is the VMAX um, Calyrex uh, Ice Rider. Guys, I'll just say, this is early days, and these are, the, these are obviously leaks, hence why sometimes you get these markings over it. A lot of these were taken from um, sort of Japanese auction sites, where some people have kind of got their boxes early and they want to sell their cars. That's kind of where we get our leaks from. It seems to happen quite regularly on the uh, Wednesday before the release, though, so I wonder why that is. But yes, that's why you sometimes you see the markings on the cards like this. Hopefully that makes sense. Nice card. Do like a Hyper Rare um, in the sense of a VMAX. I think they look uh, quite cool. Now, we do actually have even more alternate art cards for Calyrex. And this time for the VMAX. So we've had the alternate art for the V card. This is the alternate art for the VMAX card. And this is taken, very interestingly, this scene here, you see the people celebrating at the bottom. It's from a actually, Japanese comic uh, featuring uh, Kelly Rex, and um, there's a story behind it. And yeah, this is a scene from the from the comic. I'll see if I can find it uh, at some point, but this was this, this particular one was actually revealed a couple of days ago. You can see kind of like a, a, um, a raid a den beams all kind of around the, the area. And yeah, it's a really nice card, fantastic. Oswaldo Cato has done this one. Fantastic card. We have a VMAX that we don't want. We have Sanaconda VMAX. And yeah, it's a Sanaconda VMAX. This is Tornado's VMAX. Ichigeki. Very nice. Mitsuhiro Arita has done this one. So I can't say anything bad about it because we really like Mitsuhiro Arita. Uh, but yes. Um, VMAX, it's, it's nice. It's got a more dynamic image than its, um, uh, its regular V card. Anyway. And then, yes, we have the Hyper Rare trainers as well for this set. We've got the, the Doctor. We've got Fall... Uh, not, not Flannery. This one is uh, Peony. 
And, and there's Melanie. Maybe we don't have Flannery yet. All the cards are still on the way coming out, but Flannery would definitely be in there somewhere. Uh, there's Melanie as well. Nice, nice background effects on Melanie. You can kind of see the kind of um, snowflake effect on the back. It's fantastic. I, I like. I do like that they put effects on the back of the cards now, rather than um, just the sort of plain, plain Jane and simple effects. The gold card from this set is Bronzong. Wait till you see the gold card in the other set. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, and we have the um, Welcoming Lantern. Very nice card. Inanimate Objects again, isn't it? Studio uh, Bora in Inc. Interesting. Uh, did you need a whole studio to come up with that? And we also have this one here, which is the um, it is the Rough Helmet. Looks like some some kind of Viking esque helmet. I don't know. I don't. I don't like gold cards. I don't. I don't like gold item cards. I think they're. Incredibly boring. The last card is the Ultra Rare Water Energy. Okay, so as we spoke about before, the um, Ultra Rare Energies are back. This one looks incredible. Look at the sparkles around it. These things always hold their value as well. They're very valuable cards. Energy cards always needed, always um, valid, if you know what I mean. Um, never banned from the uh, the TCG. And yeah, I think they've upped up the game with the new Ultra Rares for the. Um, Sword and Shield line, yeah, it's very nice. So that does actually conclude. That does actually conclude the S6H Silver Lance side of things. Um, let me know which uh, card you want from from that particular set. Look, we're looking at it now. I probably want, obviously, you want to go with an alternate art, don't you? I think. I think I'm probably gonna say. I really like the cat. The, the um, the V card alternate art for Calyrex Ice Rider. I think it's really nice. I think Okocheki has done a fantastic job with that, considering uh, a brand new artist to the TCG. And yeah, fantastic. So we actually move on now to S6K Jet Jet Black Poltergeist. Oh no, that's Volcanion. We don't want you, Volcanion. We start off really strongly here. This Celebi card, Celebi V. I think this is a really nice card. I think this is a really nice card. As you know, um, we're getting a Celebi uh, V promo that comes with this box. If you were to buy the box in Japan, you get the promo card with it. Same with Sander Condor for um, uh, Silver Lance, actually. But yeah, S6K Jet Black Poltergeist. Jet Black Poltergeist. So that's very strongly, actually, with this card here, Cel uh, Celebi V. I think it's, it's going to be one that looks really nice uh, in the flesh. And I know Planeta's done it, but it, uh, I think they've done a good job with this. I, w I won't just constantly say bad things about them. I think sometimes the Pokemon loses a bit of personality. But in this instance, I really like it. It's a good job. It's a good job. It's a fish. It's a fish. SK Yoshinob has done her fish. It's um, Arctivish, isn't it? His head is on backwards. His body is contort. The background is twisting kind of like its body. And it's just a fish. We don't want that. You don't want that. Nobody, nobody wants that. Yes, yes, yes. Now another Planeta card, but I do love it again. This is a uh, Zero Aura, as we all know. And look, the, the it just looks fantastic. The background, the lightning, the flames. I think Zero Aura is a really cool Pokemon anyway. And um, yeah, they've done it justice with this Rengeki card here, with the Rengeki V. Um, more than happy to get that one. It's a very nice card indeed. Special art. Yes, we have the Zero Aura, uh, Zero Aura special art. Um, at Sushi um, Furusawa, so not sort of most common artists doing these um, doing these alternate arts this time. Interestingly, so what is actually going on in this one? Zero or a fantastic, fantastic Pokemon, as it is, and yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a um, little beam of light coming down. It's kind of uh, looking to grab. So who do we have down here? We have is that a Kecleon? Weavile? I can't really see. Is there? Is there anything else there? I'm not sure, you know. There's definitely a Kecleon and a Weavar there, and you can see the uh, Dinah tree in the background as it's obviously atop the mountain there. It's a really fantastic card. I think it's going to be hard to top this one. I haven't had a, a look in detail at all the cards yet, but I think this is probably going to be the one I want from this set, you know. So look, this card, again, um, I've given five ban... <laughs> 
a lot of stick in the past. And I've also given Planeta a lot of stick in the past. And as I said, today Planeta have done a good job with some of these cards. I don't know if it's just because of the background on the on the Kelly Rex uh, Shadow is it Shadow Rider? Shadow Rider V. But it's fantastic. Look at the background on it. It's just just a swirl of galaxy. You just know this card's gonna look amazing in the flesh. Just amazing. It's a it's a card that uh, I, I would just love to see it personally in the flesh. It's a very nice V card. Um, I think the Pokemon in general is, is quite a cool one. The, the Shadow Rider is quite cool. I think I actually chose Ice Rider on my save, but um, the Shadow Rider is really cool. Yeah, five ban. I'm not just going to be mean for the sake of being mean to you guys. Usually I don't like it. <laughs> this I like. Okay. I'll just be honest. Just being honest. Special art time. Uh, this is Kodama. So Kodama is a regular Pokemon artist. It's fantastic. It's so ethereal. It's like you could just imagine walking through the forest and you just see in the distance this light. And in this light, you, you have Kelly Rex on his, his loyal steed, the uh, Shadow Rider. And uh, yes, we have um, some some Greedence and the little squirrel ones kind of looking on there. Kind of, yeah, it, it's very Harry Potter, this one, actually. I think. I just feel a bit Harry Potter about it. <laughs> I don't know why. I really like the card, though. I don't know if I like this more than the um, the other one, the Zero Aura, but it's it's very nice. It's very nice. Turnip Head. Here's one we don't want. It's Metagross. Uh, Metagross V. Uh, Rengeki. Of course it's Rengeki. Because that is uh, multiple strikes and he has four arms. So it would make perfect sense to give him the Rengeki style. Um, Pl Planeta have done it. Um, as you can kind of tell, it's a very basic uh, form of the card. Um, and yeah, it's just the background kind of making these V cards a bit better at the minute, I, I feel. But yeah, it's, it's a Rengeki V Metagross, guys. Blissey! It's uh, Blissey. Seki uh, Hayashiro has done this one. Um... Yeah, it's a nice background. You know, you've got the egg shape there. And Blissey is obviously carrying an egg. And I think it's, it's a nice card. It does have a special art, would you believe? And here is that special art for Blissey. It's 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 beautiful, isn't it? It's a really nice card. You have um, a Soya... Uh, Saruta. Sorry, I have to lean in to kind of see what's actually going on in these cards. Uh, yeah, really beautiful card. Just kind of sat there. It's taking its slippers off. It's just chilling. It's it's very sort of peaceful card, isn't it? Very, it's, it really does capture um, captures Blissey's kind of energy. The Blissey vibe is, is caught in this card. And as you can see, like in the background there, there's like a picture of Blissey. <laughs> so whether the trainer has put up a picture of Blissey or Blissey's done that itself. And this is Blissey's house. And that's Blissey's... Pokemon trainer. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. So we have. Yeah, it's a nice card. It's a nice card. I'm happy with it. I'd be happy with that. Hey, we have Caitlyn. Caitlyn was one revealed today officially by Pokemon. Um, and uh, Morakura has done this one. It's a nice card. What is she? Is she yawning? Is she in her pajamas? Is she just woken up? What's going on there? I'm not a huge fan of it, if I'm honest. It's not a very interesting card. It's a. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit straightforward, I think. I, I'm not, I'm not, not a fan. Speaking of not being a fan of things, this one is, this one is Agatha. And, oh, just, look at that face. Look at that face. It's just, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. NC Empire's done this. It's, I think, I think they've captured that the being, the same way Blissey, the Blissey vibe was captured, the Agatha vibe in this has been captured very well. It's terrifying. Next. Here she is. Here's Pioneer. Uh, Curious Aki's done this one. And it's fantastic. It's a really nice card. Captures her attitude uh, perfectly. And this is obviously Peony's, uh daughter that I was talking about earlier. She is in this set or the other set. And um, there she is. It is Pioneer. And yeah, she's got a little jacket on. She's ready to kick some butt, and um, it's a nice card, very nice for Lark card. I think it'll be quite popular, that one as well. We have, it's, who is this? This is Seibold, Seibold, I don't even know, because it's not even a name. 
This is a Rengeki Cybold. He's in a kitchen. He's doing some some bits and pieces. I don't know why he's Rengeki. I don't know what. It, I don't even know where he's from. If I'm honest, I can see there's a water droplet on his on his little zipper. His little zipper. He's got a little water droplet. So he's obviously doing something to do with water. Maybe a water uh, gym leader, of some sort. He's cleaning those pans pretty good though, because they are shining. Those pans are shining. Look at them. Excellent. Excellent. What we got now? We got hyper rares. Of course we do. We got a hyper rare uh, Caitlyn. Is what it is. We got hyper rare uh, Pioneer. Is what it is. We got hyper rare Seabold. Is what it is. And yes. Yeah, so we just go on to the V Max cards now. Uh, we were missing a hyper rare Agatha, but as I said, you know these these cards are still kind of leaking. Um, I'm sure they get updated at some point. Uh, Pokey Guardian is very, very, very hot on keeping the leaks up to date. Thank you to him. He's so, he's so good. He's so good. The amount of effort he puts in for us are fantastic. We've got Celebi VMAX here. Planeta's done it. Not a huge fan, if I'm honest. Um, it's a you know, straightforward VMAX Celebi card. Haha, we have the uh, VMAX uh, Calyrex Shallow Rider. Again. It kind of these these I don't know these Vmax cards are really nice like in general I really love the, the sort of rainbow and the glitz but if you compare it to the original cards or the, even the V cards at the minute it loses a huge amount of sort of like background space it's it's really sad it's um these are supposed to be a, a more premium card I don't I don't think they are I think they have a slight step down this is a step up <laughs> Mitsuhiro Arita has done the fantastic Calyrex Vmax. Special art card and again as I mentioned before, you know the the other Calyrex was, was taken from a sort of comic book um, Strip where um, it was kind of gliding over the, the village and the people were cheering this again has been taken from uh, something uh, from the a um, Comic book strip um, or anime or manga whatever you want to call it manga isn't it? it's not anime um, You can't quite see it here, but uh, they at that window there is a a boy with his emulga, and that um, is apparent in the uh, in the manga. And yes, he is looking out of his window, seeing the giant Dynamax uh, Calyrex uh, Shadow Rider, and it's fantastic, fantastic artwork on that one. That is brilliant. I, I, I don't know. There's a lot of cards in in the S6 case there, isn't there? We've got the the V cards for just regular Calyrex. We've got the um, Zera Aura a special art. We've got that as well. So much to find in this set. Oh, no way. I've just remembered what's coming up. Oh, this is a bad set. This is a bad set. Oh, we got the Metagross Hyper Rare. Of course we do. Of course we do. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's an electrode. It's an electrode. It's fine. 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 I knew this day would come. I knew this day would come again where my old nemesis electrode and I would have to face off. Three years ago, three years ago, <laughs> my box of Champion Road arrived from Japan. I was so smug. I had, I had it on release day in Japan. It was shipped out a little bit early to me, and it came. It landed on my my doorstep on release day. I was so smug that I got this box on release day. There were so many nice cards in that set. I got Electro GX for that. It was the most basic card you could get. I felt cheated. I felt haunted somewhat. I felt like maybe it was a bit of karma. <laughs> but the memes have followed me for three years. Even the guy who runs Poke Guardian. He is one of the main culprits. A lot of people, as I said, you know, were, were messaging me, tagging me in this card when it was released this morning. Brace, brace. Look what you could get. <laughs> this is a bad time to say I've never actually pulled 
a, a golden uh, Pokemon from Sword and Shield. I really, really hope that doesn't change. This, this card is terrifying. It is terrifying. This is everything I don't want in a card. Why have they... I was, I was afraid this would come back as a V card, but it's come back as, as an ultra rare. <laughs> I have no more to say about this card. I have no more to say about this card. But long time, long time um, watchers of the channel will know what it means. Speaking of boring round things, here is the fog crystal. What can I say about that? It's a fog crystal, apparently. It's, it's a crystal. A fog. Echo horn. It's a golden horn. You could get the golden horn in this set, guys. Interesting. Interesting. Ringeki as well. There's multiple strikes coming from this horn. And the last card is the psychic energy, as if, you know, we had the water energy in, the, in um... Uh, S6H. In S6K we get the Psychic Energy. So that is it. That is all the Super Rare cards revealed. So it's very exciting. And as I said, from the, the, the first set, I would I would definitely probably have this this uh, Calyrex uh, Ice Rider V here. Special art. In this one, it's a lot trickier for me to pick. I'd love to know what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments what you want from each set. Um, that one looks the best. Zero Aura. Definitely. If not, not Electrode. Not Electrode. I think I'm going to have to go with a Zero Aura. Definitely. That's what we want from this set. We want a Zero Aura and we want uh, whatever I said from the other one, the Calyrex V. <laughs> so yes, guys, um, that is it. We've had a great day of reveals today. Some fantastic cards again. So yes, I hope that you guys will, will join me. Join me uh, um, on Friday, actually, as we look through the top 10 most expensive cards from the set and we get a little idea of what we might be paying for these and what they might be worth in uh, chilling rain coming up so join me on friday and then uh yeah the following week when we get our boxes we'll be doing some more live streams we're doing live streams at the minute it's so much fun i hope you guys can come and join me on youtube as we do some more live stream openings and yes thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys again soon